Hello. Welcome to the show, Trucking Tendencies. I haven't made one in a bit because I kind of started running out of topics. But uh, yeah, that's what. Welcome to the show. This is uh, this one's going to be, uh, I guess, problem drivers. I wanted to make a list, but I'll just oh, um, before I started, but I'll just do it off the top of my head, I guess. Uh, problem drivers in major cities. Um, there, there's a couple of them. Um, they're people that are in a rush. Everybody's that has to, that's like constantly late, and they don't got things organized. Uh, they're 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 going to be one of your problem drivers. Um, they're doing their makeup in the car. They're distracted. Um, they're eating. They're on their cell phone. Those are problem drivers. And you want to get away from them. Um, stay away as, as far as possible from them. Other problem drivers are probably the um, people with messed up cars. People that have beat up cars and they don't, they don't like, well, they, they don't take care of their things. And like, you can tell, like they, you know, accidents happen, but when it's really messed up and, you know, they have like a very kind of old car and, and their tires or you gotta want to stay away from them cause you never know what they're going to do. <laughs> you gotta avoid them. Uh, so speed up or slow down, let them go or something. But those are problem drivers. Um, on the highways, freeways, another set of people that are problem drivers. Um, I don't know how some people are going to take this, but I'm not racist, but Chinese people, there's some Chinese people that don't know how to drive, but I bet you at the same time, there's some, there's some Japanese and Chinese people that can kill it. Like, have you seen those, uh, drifting when they drift over there in those, in those canyons and hills? That's where they... I mean, those, there's like, they have expertise level of driving and manipulating vehicles too. So, I mean, that's completely not racist. It's just, um, some white people, and I know my mom is a, um, she's not a, a very cautious driver and it's just like, she, I think she hit a possum one time and she was with with my dad and, and she and he screamed at her like you don't see that you don't see that animal in front of the road and she did it and she um i think it she knocked it off the road and um but yeah it was at nighttime so sometimes it's just the nighttime conditions that makes it hard for people to not to make makes it difficult scenarios for people to drive because it they have eye conditions and they can't see because the lights are too bright and you know there's a circumstances like that so problem drivers are um people that just come over like a lot of people move from foreign countries right from mexico and from and from china and they they're successful here and they get their wives um you know a, a brand new large vehicle like vans and several times like ladies and vans i see them coming and i'm like oh man i just you know my your level of awareness and it, it has to go up and you have to be constantly you got to be more on top of it like you can't really you have to be like hyper aware of everything so um that's a that's another problem driver obviously of course uh people under the influence um but the past three years I have oh, driving in Los Angeles. I have not seen that many. Um, I've seen, yeah, not that many um, people under the influence. And I drive. It typically happens majority of the time Thursdays and and fri Fridays. I don't drive Saturday, so it might happen even more Saturdays. But Fridays are like I kind of get a little bit. It's a different animal in in the city because everybody's going out. Everybody's going out to restaurants and to shows. And the entire system of the freeway just becomes a different animal. And it kind of, I, I just want to get off the highway, you know, sooner, as soon as possible. Um, like towards the weekend, once the weekend starts approaching. And yeah, but um, let's go on with the list. Problem driver, that's one, two, three, with another third. 
problem driver. Um, uh, elderly people, those are problem drivers. Um, there should be some sort of system, Uber or Lyft, that'd be really great for them to start Ubering and lifting. Um, I they do probably have like some type senior citizen discount, right? They should. I think they do. Yeah, they must have it. But I mean, it's it's a um, situation where you, they, the elderly people don't want to stop driving because it's it's like a handicap and it makes them feel like helpless even more helpless than they're because they're just hanging on to life so they're like this is a, this is the best thing i can do you know let me drive let me drive so there should definitely be some sort of like some type of like go-kart or like not a special completely special lane but like some type of like race track or something where they can you know get that get that fix because it's it's a, a relaxing thing it's driving is a is a therapeutic thing it's been i've seen it on a um youtube thing about uh what was it but some lady broke it down i'm not sure if it was a tedx talk or something but she broke it down where um it's a therapeutic thing because you're like meditating because when you 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 move your eyes left and right, right and left, uh, in your head, you know, you tilt your head left and right, right and left, there's a, there's a balance that's happening or something in your, in your eyes, and then it's therapeutic for your, for your eyes, and then your brain or something, it's weird, and then that's what I, it kind of makes sense to me, because I, I do recall the very first, and a bunch of you drivers probably do recall that too, when you guys very first started driving, there was like this, I'm not sure how long it was for you guys, but probably like, like uh, the first month uh, or two of driving long over the road, there's just a period of time where you're like, I just got it's so boring. I want to go to sleep. Like you want to, you want to knock out. Like you, you get drowsy and you get sleepy. Specifically, I believe by what that lady was talking about, um, that it's like a, it's a meditative thing. So, so I don't know. There's there's always new things popping up and, and solutions for problems, but that'll be a really fun, uh, solution. Um, I have like, a a senior citizen event or location. Um, so they can play uh, destruction derby or bumper cars for, for them. I mean, I don't know, but anyway, problem drivers, are there any more problem drivers? I think they're, I think that's it. Young, young people, they're always in a rush. Distract people. Um, beat up people that, beat up cars. Beat people that don't take care of their, their stuff. Um, proper maintenance on their equipment. Um, what else? Elderly people trying to think I think that's for right now that's about it and none of those none of those situations you got to get if you want to be a driver none of those people could got can get under your skin if if any if any of those people get under your skin then you're gonna you're gonna take your work home with you and it's gonna you're not gonna sleep at night like uh, it's um driving is isn't for you you gotta let you gotta let, let so many things slide. Um, people just cutting you off, and and you being patient to let everybody go first is um, one of the things that you gotta keep like priority on top of your list when you're when you're behind the wheel. So, yep, that's it. Uh, thanks for listening, and um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed and, and learned something. All right, bye.